David, there's one word that kept repeating in today's emergency session on Syria, and that is unity. Ambassadors of the United States, the UK, Sweden, and other representatives reiterated the need to unite and fulfill the Council's responsibility, because now it's some sort of a test for the actual role of the Security Council, since the use of chemical weapons cannot become the new status quo. That's what the UN Special Envoy for Syria, Stefan de Mistura, said at the beginning of the meeting today. And unity also means to establish a mechanism of accountability and support an independent investigation into what happened in Syria over the weekend. That is what the United States is pushing for. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley urged the Security Council to adopt a resolution that condemned the chemical weapons attack. The draft resolution does not blame the Assad regime explicitly, but it calls for an independent U.N. investigation into the attack, which will determine whether chemical weapons were used and who is responsible for it. Just like President Trump did earlier, Haley also put the blame for the atrocities in Syria on Iran and on Russia. Take a listen. Russia could stop this senseless slaughter if it wanted, but it stands with the Assad regime and supports without any hesitation. What's the, por what's the point of trying to shame such people? After all, no civilized government would have anything to do with Assad's murderous regime. Pictures of dead children mean little to governments like Russia, who expend their own resources to prop up Assad. And this council, which saw these pictures last year, has failed to act because Russia has stood in its way every single time. Haley also said that whether the Security Council acts or not, the U.S. will respond. Now, meantime, Russia warns that the use of military force against Syria will have grave repercussions. The Russian ambassador to the United Nations said that Russia is willing to consider the draft resolution, although he also said that the incident in Duma was in fact staged and that it is all part of a Western effort to hurt Russia with the U.S., the U.K. and France using hawkish rhetoric against Russia in a tone that has gone beyond what was acceptable even during the Cold War. David Chena.